What's up guys, welcome to another video and today we're gonna walk you guys through how you can use your personal Gmail account to send email in Node.js and beside that we're also gonna walk you through how you can CC someone or even BBC folks inside Node.js. Just a quick warning before we start the session, if you do have Gen2 factor authentication activated into your account, this video will definitely not work for you. It's gonna require to either for you to temporarily disable it or you're gonna have to use a different Gmail account that you do not need just for testing and purposes. Without any further ado, let's actually go ahead and get our hands dirty. First thing first, navigate to a folder wherever you have it. Inside this one, I have a folder called send email. In this one, I'm gonna initialize a packet.json. And this command is only gonna go ahead and create a packet.json for me. And as you guys can see down here, I now have my packet.json ready to go. Once you have the packet that JSON created, next thing I'd like to do is go ahead and install a package called Node Mailer, and I'm gonna use the dash capital S to save this one as a dependency. Once this one is done saving as a dependency, I'm gonna go now and create a file called server.js, and this is where we're gonna go ahead and create everything that we need to send that email. And there you go, guys, my server.js is now created. I can go inside of it and start doing a couple of things. First thing I'd like to do is go here and require the node mailer package that I installed. There you go, once I have that installed, there's a couple of steps that I need. Step number one is in order to send any email using node mailer, you need what they call a transporter. And a transporter is what going to connect you to whichever host domain that you're using or either services that you'd like to connect to. So the bottom line is that transporter is what's going to be making that connection for you. So in order to do that, I'm gonna go here and create or store that transporter into a variable called transporter. And in order to create that transporter, we're gonna use the node module here and do that create transport. So once you do that, this transport itself takes an object and within that object are things that you put such as your host configuration or anything related to things that you'd like to connect to. In this one, I'd like to connect to Gmail, so I'll use service and make it equal to Gmail. This is a way of saying that we want to connect to Gmail. And once we have that, we pass it the OAuth, which is gonna need to pass the email and password. And to pass the email, we pass it over something called user. And then to pass the password, we pass it over something called pass. And ladies and gentlemen, these two key are going to require you to pass your email and password. So once I have the transporter created, next thing that I'd like to do is here is create my mail options, such as what are the things that I'd like to send to my mail. And in order for me to do that, it's just going to be an object that's going to contain everything that I need to send to that user. But first, I'd like to tell the user where this email is coming from. And for this one, I'd like to send this email using this account that I have called tabnabbers, gmail, that email. And second, I'd like to use the two to tell it where do I want to send that email. For this one, I have an email called Delta Mavericks, and this is where I'd like to send my email to. Third, I'd like to mention a subject, and this is gonna be what the users see as the headline of the email. And for this one, I can leave it simple, kind of like testing and testing, something very, very dummy. And lastly, but not least, I can also send a text that's going to be containing inside whenever the user open this email. And for this one, I can just say uh, it works. Something like that, very basic. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, that was step two. Now, step number three is the last part that you need to do in order to be able to send that email. And in order for you to do that, what you're going to need to do is grab whatever you had the transporter on step number one, which was that variable called transporter, and I'm gonna use a function on it called send email. Now, this function itself take two parameters. The first one is the mail option that you had on step number two. So so I'm gonna go here and pass it that mail option. And the second parameter that it takes, it has to be a callback. So I'll define my callback here. And this callback take a total of two parameter, which means in case there is an error, what do we want to do if there is an error? If for any reason that we were not able to successfully send our email, what do we want to happen? In this case, I'm just gonna go now and console log error occurs and else in case after that we have successfully sent the email what do we want to do i'm just going to go now and just display the message call email sent and ladies and gentlemen believe it or not the recording code base we are done the only thing that we need to do is adding our password now 
I'm gonna do an extra step here and the extra step is just gonna go to make sure that my password that I'm gonna be adding is actually going to be something that is not visible to the public because if I add my email right here and after I add my email and I come here and kind of like enter my password this password is going to be visible to the entire public so I do not want this I want to find a way to configure this one so that it is not visible to the entire public for that one I'm gonna use a package called dot nv and I'm gonna save this one as a dependency and what this is gonna allow me to do now is I can go on the top of my file and I can do require dot nv and once I do that I can use configure and this is how I technically configure dot nv to load what they call environment variable once again this might be sounds confusing but in order to work with dot nv we need a file call that env that env is gonna contain where you add your password and beside that we also need what they call that git ignore file once we create our git ignore we need to go inside the git ignore and make sure that we are now ignoring the dot env file which means this will never get pushed to anywhere that we send in it this might again sounds confusing but if you guys don't want to go with the extra step you can feel free to just enter your email and password here so i'm just going to go ahead and configure dot nv and once i created this file called dot nv i can add my password here and then i can also add my email here inside the dot env to your value for example this one is going to be your email here and this one is going to be your password so once you have successfully add your password and email here all right so in order to use those key inside here i need to come here and adjust them accordingly so i'll do process.env and this one is going to equal to my email that i set inside the vnv file and this one is gonna equal to my password. Once again, guys, you do not need this if you just wanna enter the email and password right here, but for security reason, in case you do not want to expose your key publicly, then you definitely need to kind of go over the .env file and configure it and make it this way. So just to quickly review, we got our first step, which is the transport. We got second step, which is our mail option, and third step, which is where we send, we use the transport to send the actual email. Now, if I try to run this application now, to make sure that if I can see if I see an email, an error occurs, and if I go here and just display the error, and there you go guys, this error is saying user and password not accepted. Well, what really is happening is by default, Gmail security is extremely intense. Gmail does not accept that you send the password in plain text to them, okay? So this is very, very important. This is an extra step that you need to do to make sure that you can at least test making sure that this is working to test your application so in order to disable that gmail feature i need to go to this link called my account slash google.com less secure and once i go to this website i need to make sure that i'm selecting the account i would like to use for this one i'm using the tab number account and once i am on the tab number account i need to click this button to turn into green and now once it is green i can go back and try to run my application now and it should be working as expected and there you go guys i was successfully able to send the email and now if i go back to my email account and there you go ladies and gentlemen i was successfully able to see the email that is coming in there you go it testing and here's my subject and i can feel free to go ahead and adjust it accordingly and I can feel free to test this accordingly just to make sure that is, is it really working. And again, I run my note application and email sent. And if I go back to my server again, and there you go, this new message is now coming. And there is my message as well, ready to go. All right, so now that you have successfully able to send an email, you might be asking, all right, so how can I send an email to at least multiple people? Well, if I'd like to send an email to multiple people, wherever I have step number two and go over wherever I have the two, and here I can add a comma and add the second email that I'd like to send this email to. For example, I'd like to send this same email to this person and also this person. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna go ahead and successfully send that email to both of the person. All right. The other thing that you also might be wondering, okay, Sterling, what? how can i cc somebody into this email well in order to cc somebody into this email i can go ahead and add the ccc here and technically add the person email that i'd like to ccc into here and there you go ladies and gentlemen we were able to attach that ccc here and if i run my application again 
an email was successfully sent and if I go back to wherever my email here and go over that tab and there you go ladies and gentlemen I was able to send this email to two folks and I was also able to CCC myself into it how cool is this now the other thing you might also be asking how can you BBC some folks well if you would like to BBC some folks just type the word BBC here and also include the email that you'd like to BBC and there you go I was able to BBC folks to either CCC folks and either send an email to multiple people as once and if I run this application again and there you go guys my email was successfully able to be sent and if I go again here I should be able to see my email and including a couple folks that are now BBC of course you would not show you the folks that are BBC but just keep that in mind behind the scene there is a folks that is BBC that can see the emails that you sent now one last thing I'd like to mention here which is very important be mindful whenever you BBC or CCC folks this is actually sending an email to that person as well so be mindful which folks that your CCC otherwise they will be able to see that email coming in one last thing I'd like to mention here is the way node mailer work it also work with a promise if you're using the transport that send email but well, this also going to return a promise if you do not pass it a callback all right so this might have been confusing but the bottom line is for folks that are advanced just be mindful that this one exists in case you would like to write your node mailer using promises in javascript now you might be wondering okay sterling great i was able to successfully send an email but how can i at least send a picture with this email well ladies and gentlemen you're going to see how we can send an image with our email using node mailer and see you guys in the next video